is Bear 142. She is the daughter of the boss, Bear 122. And Bear 72, who was formerly known as the matriarch of Lake Louise. Bear 142 is a nine-year-old blonde bear, and her mother has died, so she now serves as the reigning matriarch of Lake Louise. And she carries on the family legacy. She is independent, and she had two set, a set of cubs, so she has two cubs that were born in 2018. But before we get too far into the matriarchs, Bear 142 story, we have to learn a little bit about her famous mother, Bear 72. And Bear 72 is one of Banff's success, success stories. So this is her with um, her cub, Bear 142, and Bear 143. Bear, Bear 72, she lived a long life. She had three sets of cubs, and she eventually died of natural causes. And this is the kind of life that we want for all of the grizzly bears in Banff. But during that time, the trains weren't the only cause of grizzly bear mortality. The highways were also a big problem. So between 2005 and 2017, six grizzly bears were hit and killed on the highway. But since then, we have put in crossing structures and fencing. Mm, and these have done wonderful that. things. They've That's greatly right. Those reduced are for bears. the species, the wildlife mortality on the highways for all species, including bears. And we have overpasses, which you might have seen as you were driving. They're on number one on the Trans Canada. And we also have underpasses, which you probably won't see. And these are awesome structures, they're super big. But how do you think Parks Canada decides where to put these crossing structures? Yeah. Where most bears have died. Where most bears have died. So where they are already crossing, right? And one of the ways we determine where they're already crossing is by collaring them. And that's what was done with Bear 72. She was fitted with a tracking collar and we saw that her, along with a lot of other bears in the park, we're crossing near the same points almost every time. So this served as an ideal location to put in these crossing structures. Today, Bear 142 is continuing the family legacy. Um, she has two cubs with her this year. And just like her mom before her, the matriarch of Lake Louise is a really good mama bear. But this spring, we had a little bit of a tense situation with Bear 142 and her cubs. And in order to understand this story, you have to know that bears mate in the spring. And when a bear is ready to mate, when a male bear is ready to mate, that is all he can think about. He's totally focused on mating. But a female bear will only mate if she doesn't have cubs. So if she has cubs, no chance. So this means that sometimes male bears will try and kill the cubs of a female bear. Now this May, in the middle of the day, Bear 142 and her cubs were up at the Lake Louise Lakeshore. And if you guys have been there, you know it's pretty busy. There are lots of people and it's not a good place for a bear and her cubs to be wandering around. So Parks Canada conservation officers were up there and they were trying to move Bear 142 and her cubs to a less populated area. But they soon realized that she was not alone. There was a male bear, Bear 136, also known as Split Lip, following her. And he was after those cubs. So this became a very dangerous situation. And all of the people up to the lakeshore were moved into the chateau. And we just kind of had to wait and see what would happen. The bear 142 in her cub is a very good mama bear, and she will do anything to protect her cubs. And in May, the lake is still frozen, although that ice is getting thinner and thinner every day. But she took the risk. She darted across the lake with her cubs in tow. 
and Split Lip came chasing after her, and she ran up the avalanche slope at the side of the lake, which is covered in snow. And Bear 142 and her cubs are relatively light, so they can kind of trample over the snow no problem. But Split Lip is a big guy, and every time he tried to run through the snow, he sunk deeper and deeper, and he eventually got stuck and he gave up. So Bear 142 and her cubs are safe. But it's really important that we have good mama bears like Bear 142 in the park to keep our grizzly bear population healthy. Because here, the grizzly bear population is, the reproduction rate of our grizzly bear population is one of the lowest in North America. So our female grizzly bears will only have cubs every three to five years. Which means that we want to protect these breeding females to keep our population thriving. Can we hear House Matriarch's motto one more time? Brave and free. Beautiful, brave and free. So you 